why don't we first start by you telling me your name and where you work? My name is Julie Zinchini. I work at Cisco Systems and I am a director of business operations for the Mass Scale Infrastructure team. My name is Caitlin. I am eight and I am in third grade. The number one thing that I miss about going to school is probably like at recess time, I get to play with my friends, but during recess time, during online schooling, I just have to really play with my, by myself sometimes, so I don't get to see my friends that much. Leading up to about March, things were pretty normal. Uh, and then very abruptly in March, uh, it was literally the day before uh, spring break, we were notified that the schools would be shutting down the next day. Um, we all, uh, at that time, because COVID was so new, uh, they put us on stay-at-home orders. So at that time, the whole family basically stayed home. Um, you know, we were terrified of COVID. We would wear gloves when, if we had to go to the grocery store. I wouldn't let anybody go anywhere. Um, and uh, it started to ease up over the summer and actually towards, you know, by, I would say, July, Everybody was operating pretty normally. Um, we were going to stores, we were eating on patios at restaurants. We never really ever sat in a restaurant for the most part, um, but we were able to do things. I took Katie up to an amusement park in Glenwood Springs um, for a period of time. Um, everybody was pretty normal. And then as you know, October kind of rolled around and our COVID cases uh, started to increase, we started to kind of lock back down, stop going to stores, stop going to any restaurants whatsoever. Um, and now we're to the point where we really just don't go anywhere. We go to the grocery store and we stay home and that's about it. Go back to squad 202 and let's look at card number 11. It's fine. You gotta hurry, I have to get back to work, honey. I'm really late, okay. So. The hardest part's about you know, having a remote school child and trying to work full time is really just the general juggling of it all. Um, you don't ever feel like you have the time you need to devote to your child and you don't have the time that you need to, to, to devote to your work. So you're constantly juggling those two things. And so there's just an overwhelming feeling that you're failing in every way all the time, that you're just, nothing is being done adequately. Uh, I think that's the most important thing is I feel guilty when I'm sitting on the computer working and Katie's just out occupying herself. Um, I'm actually relieved when she's on her Zoom calls in the afternoons because she's occupied, I can focus on work, it's great, but that's only like three hours a day. Um, and the rest of the time, yeah, it's just, you're either guilty or you're stressed uh, or everything in between. I think that overall, this this entire school year, the, the kids have s definitely experienced some setbacks. Um, in you know, from March to May, when they were doing the initial homeschooling, I don't feel like she learned absolutely anything during that time. It was a complete waste of time. You know, that, like I said, the technology wasn't great. It's like they just kind of were giving them something to do every day, but it really wasn't any learning. Um, and then we, you know, went into summer where she would normally not be learning. So that was kind of normal. Uh, when she returned back to school, I feel like, okay, everything was great. And they kind of caught back up a little bit. Um, and now, you know, the, the program and the homeschooling system that they have in place, I do feel like they are learning. Um, at least I know the work that I do with her in the morning, I'm spending that time, I'm devoting the time, I'm making sure she learns and she's growing and she is definitely learning things. Like she didn't know how to do fractions, she knows how to do fractions now. Um, so I do feel like it's better. Um, I think the biggest thing that they are probably lacking at this point is um, is definitely the, the social interaction. Um, and. Uh, and I'm sure they're not learning at as fast of a pace because there's a lot of distractions with the Zoom call dropping and 
you know, kids interrupting and having to mute and unmute, and I can't imagine they're getting as quality of, of an education. Um, but I'm not as concerned about that as it really seems more of the social interaction. I think that we will get through it, uh, you know, mainly because I'm so committed to getting her through it. Um, I do worry the impact that it's having on me, and um, I, you know, I'm not necessarily worried that my health will fail, but um, you know, I, I do think that there, you know, I'm reaching a level of exhaustion that uh, is pretty unprecedented for me. I think we will get through it. Um, I'm a pretty strong woman, and Katie seems to be a pretty strong kid, so um, I think we will get through it. It's just, uh, every day I just remind myself it's a marathon, not a sprint. And you have to take it one day at a time, and you have to do everything you can, and you can't sweat the small stuff. You have to just keep chugging along and until this thing is done and it's over. But it is hard. It's hard. It's probably one of the hardest times I've can remember.